Welcome everybody to the South Park Phone Destroyer weekly update for week number 18 of year two. Appreciate you being here. Pegs a lot. Welcome in. Raptor Robot, Patriarchy Smasher. Welcome, Dog Poo Buckethead. Beautiful to see you all. Friedbo, Stu the Lion, Cam Jam, and Capium all here early. Welcome in. Friedbo lurking as well, off to work. Nice to see you, buddy. Maybe we'll still be going when you give off. No, I'm just kidding. Probably not. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're having a good Monday. I had a pretty hectic Monday. A lot of stuff was going on at work. Cloud Chucker Ace, welcome in. But we were able to kind of figure it out. Capium dropping that host. And caress your womanly body. Make you moan and perspire. We'll always give that at least one time every update. Otherwise, next person who hosts gets cut off. Unless it's like a real raid, you know. Um, but thanks, Capium. I appreciate the chef. Known, welcome in. How's everybody doing? Um, but we are going to be going through the normal weekly update um, with the giveaway, exclamation point SPPD for the giveaway. This is gonna be our second to last, our penultimate stream where we can do two of those giveaways in one stream. Going forward after Thursday on May 1st, um, we'll be doing, we'll only be able to do one, but we do still get to do them every three stream and it's still the same amount, it's still the, 3,000, 2,000, 350, three epics. That'll be good. Which is really nice because that's actually useful. The 200 cash was okay. I mean, that's a good amount. Fifth of a battle path, not bad. Can you check if I can win again, Cloud Chucker? Yeah, man, let me pull that up quick. Um, but yeah, so it's good that they're keeping the same amount and it's good that they're, they're still letting us do three. You know, I was actually expecting let us do two keep the same amount or let us do two go back to the old amount but keep the three epics in there i think that would have been good too but they were more generous than i thought they would be i was kind of i was kind of jewing them but they they chose they chose to give us more so let me see cloud chucker what's your new kid name is it just cloud chucker um... but we're going to be going through the team wars games from last week which we have some pretty exciting ones um, and we have some pretty boring ones as well. Um, and then after that, we'll be going through the deck choices for this week. And then a very exciting, very fun-filled dev update with some really good quality of life improvements as far as visual stuff on the game goes. Well, I guess they're fixes more than anything. Uh, cloud chucking, I see you won on the second, so you can't win till May 2nd. But you're fucked! You're fucked, son! Sorry. Cam Jam, uh, I'm not gonna check everybody. You're gonna have to figure it out, guys. You're gonna have to reach back into your psyche and try to remember, when was the last time that I won? I don't know how to search. Can I just like search Cam Jam? Cam? Camillo, was that you? Rob Van Cam, is that you? From Human Tampons? That was 418. That wasn't even like two weeks ago. Come on, man. You should know that. How about I use a different account? I can't condone that. I'm sorry, I can't condone that. Um, but welcome in, everybody. We'll go through last week's Team Wars. And we'll show the last... Oh no, it looks like I don't have the picture. Oh no. Looks like we're gonna have to skip that part this week. Just kidding. So, Free to Play Wales had a player who got banned because of their challenge score. So we had 49 out of 50 run. Even if you add 114, we're still down by about 20, 25, 30. Um, but we did have two disconnects. So you add a 114 in there, take out those two disconnects, and that's a really nice, really nice neck and neck battle there. So can't be mad at that one. Uh, good runs, Illuminati. They're coming. The, it, there's some awesome though in the current standings here. But after that last win, the adventure lock, Nam Blues took another first place, and on Moody, Moody took fifth place in gold, and he got a DSR. She got a DSR from her fucking fifth place gold pack. Horse shit. I got three legends though. I got Inkin on the main account, 
Stand of Many Moons on the alt account. Pretty sweet stuff. Um, but something awesome here. TMI last week ran 50 people and actually ran into... Um, and actually ran into Dire Tide um, and had a real chance of beating them, um, but didn't didn't quite get it over there. So TMI actually losing quite a bit of ground. They were only about 50 behind Chef's Elite at one point. Um, they lost quite a bit of ground there, and Dire Tide gets to make up a little ground on TMI on that fourth place spot. So things are starting to start to change, but then you see TMI immediately changing to 35 members, <laughs> which is hilarious. But Chef's Elite, sick and strong at almost 8,500. Illuminati, you pull in within almost 200. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome to see them climbing so quickly. But the biggest part, Spain Park, comes out of nowhere. And Six Samurais disappears from the top 10. Six Samurais was, I think, above Szechuan Sauce at one point. And Mercenaries wasn't even in the top 10, I think. And then shit got mixed around down there. And Spain Park coming up with 40 out of 50 members. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk that a 40 out of 50 team would come up? Really unfortunate. How's everybody doing? Exclamation point SPPD in chat. Grumpasaurus, Bacon Blitz, M Tags, welcome in. Um, but yeah, those are pretty fun. I think that. It's starting to, it's starting to even out a little bit, but there's still such a gap between like, you know, second and third, and then third and fourth, um, and then what is it like fifth and sixth is a pretty big gap, or sixth and seventh is a, I can't remember, but it's, it's getting there. I mean, it's getting a little better. Not that it's, I mean, Moody's in gold this week, and spoiler alert, Moody won all three of his games. Moody did. And we have people in the top team losing games, and then Moody can win all three. I don't get it. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. Um, but I guess on a Dougie week, you never know what could happen. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, because... We had Aerostorm, so there's no way that you can, like, sneak a Dougie past me. How's everybody doing? Drink, bitch. Ooh. Ooh. I reserve the right to not drown myself, though. Because that is actually lethal. So, if you guys say drink 11,000 times, <clears throat> maybe it's got a limit. I don't know. Uh, but let me get these games pulled up. I don't know. They're not... Open... Says me. Is it water? Yeah. I don't drink alcohol. I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> You want to join my WoW guild? <laughs> Alright, we got him. We got him pulled up. Alright, let's move over. Moving on up to the games over here. Alright, let's start with the main games because they're so colossally boring. That's what I need. There we go. Now it fits. Alright, twitch.tv slash glanzern in the house. Versus Weary Eagle 7170. We got that Murph in the back, level 4. Hoping for the unholy, honestly. No unholy. Ooh, there it comes. We got the Buccaneer coming at us. Wait to play Super Craig in front. Should protect him. Played our baby in the back. Get though, tried to get that chunk. Our baby should two shot the level three. Beautiful. There's a plus 27. This guy's mad. We're gonna put tool shed up top. Ooh, the interesting play there. Let's just arrow storm it. <clears throat> I mean, not arrow storm it. Let's just drop that because baby gonna survive that forced teen shot too. We're gonna get that Jesus on her to heal her. Gonna protect her. This was my. This was probably my ninth game. No, it would have been... This was probably my 12th game. I think this was my last game of the week. And so I was very comfortable with the deck. <laughs> I don't always name these in the right order. I let... And all of my games were under two minutes on this one. I think one of them I ended in a minute. That might have been the one I ended in a minute. 
So yeah, I, I was pretty comfortable with these. <laughs> oh, it's not getting me the right... Oh, there we go. Oh, I get how to do it, okay. Weird. Zatahe. Zatahe. Lead with the Mysterion, which is always a good choice when it's a Mysterion week. I mean, you see that he takes almost a full bar just because he doesn't know how to step right. So now we can step his choir boy, get in good position, just drop the arrow storm, which is going to kill the Dougie and do a little damage to the level three tool shed, which is good. Choir boy would kill him if he goes for him. He does go for him, which is nice. Nothing to really deal with the pigeons, which is interesting. We're going to play the tool shed just for the damage. Maybe imp tweak in the middle. I don't know. I'm probably getting cocky here. This was my 13th game of the week. Just going to keep him away. Hopefully new kid can deal. We'll have the Mysterion coming back in a second. Buccaneer out to deal with the few pigeons. No, I didn't feel like it was worth it. The arrow storm comes out, which isn't great when it's just dealing with Mysterion, pretty much. <laughs> we don't want to put Buccaneer Baby out, so I'm glad I didn't put Buccaneer Baby out. Slow playing it a little bit. Mesquite Murph in the back is probably smart. Even if he gets removed, Mysterion will come back and he's got low energy. Just unholy, that big fat fuck, maybe. Nah, I probably don't even need to, because I'll be able to just go to right to new kid. Because Murph doesn't give a shit about me. <clears throat> now he'll come he'll still do hella damage though because it's level four versus level two we're gonna use this level two jesus use the level two jesus oh we protected murph from the inuit instead is that the right move the murph i thought would attack the choir boy but mysterion comes from the back and fucks him up we're gonna play the dougie to finish her out and the dougie gets one shot by my baby incredible See money what's his 6,000 elo dude doing in gold? Well, Moody was in gold, and Moody did just fine. I don't know, man. It's just, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. All right, this was probably the second game. Yeah, 69-35, so this is better. A little better. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. Lead with the Dougie, just because I didn't have a great hand. The Aerostorm comes out, doesn't stop the level 6, unfortunately. And even Unholy takes that 22, I think. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> He's a bastard. I'll probably lead with the Mysterion. But I should have done. But we can... Oh, We should have been paying attention. We should have countered with my Mysterion. We're gonna imp his imp. It's gonna be hilarious. Come on, Super Craig, hit new kid. Oh, so close. Imp is gonna come in though. We could probably, no, uh, don't need to, don't need to. Nope, didn't think I needed to. Put the trap out, get the choir boy dead. No, it deals with him though. But the Imp, level five, coming in clutch and surviving. Jesus, heal the Imp. Beautiful, nice, plus 70. That plus 70 is what, seven attacks from new kid? That's actually fairly important. And the kind of late unholy combust there. Now this kind of frustrates me because this is gonna actually change after this week. What I can do here, Jesus wouldn't help that push anymore. So Jesus isn't gonna be able to do that anymore. So I don't know, I don't know. Um, you'll be able to counter push and stuff with him, but we'll see how he ends up. We'll talk more about that at the dev update. Um, now we go to the Moody games. Moody number one. Let's go for it. What's up, Cam Jam? Moody's the chosen one, dude. Hell yeah. Are lockers back to normal too? Maybe in May? I don't know. I'm not sure on that. <clears throat> Shut up, Capium. We're watching all of them. Just because they're boring doesn't mean I play well in order to make them boring. You know what I'm saying? All it takes is one good outplay in Team Wars and it can cause, cause you the game. Or one big mistake. This Thunderbird level 4 though is brutal. And I thought this deck for us was fantastic. I wasn't too worried about the Dougie, but we do stop him with both of these. Probably General Disarray here. New Kid is gonna kill the Inuit. No! Maxi takes him! Oh man, Moody catching breaks! Moody catching breaks! Try to get that heal plus 126. The Super Craig surviving just enough to force that. And then Jesus comes back and heals him. Jesus is a great Aerostorm counter, man. That's what I realized this week. He's an Aerostorm counter. Him and Deckhand make Aerostorm worthless. But unfortunately, Jesus won't be able to do that anymore. But now we get the Terry and Philip. 
The Jesus army! Beautiful. You won't be able to put pressure with Jesus anymore. I think that's a mistake. I mean, it really just changes fundamentally what the card is, but whatever. How's everybody doing? How are your Team Wars games this week? Oh, it splashed up in my nose. Rhino, donate or die. This one kind of had me scared. Donate or die, pretty well-known team, not terrible players. 67-31, we'll see how Moody handles it. Lead that choir boy, always a good start. The Bebe might not get the hit off. Level four, pretty good. She will get the stack though. Only plus 12 though, not terrible. That level four in the face though is really brutal. Program stand coming from behind. Shouldn't get too much damage from him. We'll see if we could get him to attack. Nope, all right, decent idea here. See if we could, okay. Okay, we're trying to line up this ninju. Oh, you should have played it right. You should have played it immediately. I think I was waiting for the arrow storm maybe. All right, now we're good. Force a little bit of energy. Drop ours, we get that Terrence plus 49, pretty damn good. Jesus comes out, heals the counter push. Ooh, that plus 36. That'll keep him alive for a long time against Murph's low attack. Now we put this guy out, maybe bait the unholy or something to protect somebody who knows what he'll do, or he'll just get tanked. And that Terran surviving, the Aerostorm comes up with a level three ninju. Enough health. Ooh, and the Jesus heals the ninju. Beautiful. Beautiful. Probably the Thunderbird once you take the bar. Nice. Play the choir boy on the bottom side to steal whatever might hit. If he plays the Inuit or something like that. Oops. Well, because someone looking through talk shows could see South Park and be like, ooh, that sounds interesting. Because who's looking through South Park Phone Destroyer, you know? All those people who would do that already know who I am. Trover Saves the Universe. That's a game or is it a game based on a show? I thought it was a show. I have a poster for it somewhere. All right, Satan Balloon Knot. Satan 5 Balloon Knot. Choir Boy coming through. Should have just unholied the maxi there and choir boy could have taken two um, But I figured we'd we'd get the counter push easier Interesting there his idea was don't let him unholy combust it I should have just waited till they got past hit the unholy and then laughed because I'm not some scrub But the Dougie's gonna help the arrow storm coming out actually does kind of worry me But the slow makes his animation so long uh, that it ends up really detrimentally affecting him. Now I can't get the Kenny out or can I? Can we stop it? Oh, I did actually mess that up. I could have probably stopped that if, let's roll that back. I could have stopped that if I would have played Inuit on the bottom side, cause then Stan would have hit him instead of having to walk like that. Stan would have just turned and hit there, but I put him in between it. Like I meant to put him on the top side because of the way new kid pushes away. It, it placed it not where I wanted it, so I could have played on the bottom side and made that not happen. But this ends up working out for me, so get a hit there. <clears throat> Wonder Tweak. Not, not the best defense here, but hopefully we can maybe make something happen here. Put that out, maybe get something killed. No, nope. I should have just attacked New Kid one more time. Didn't mess that up, but we do have the Maxi. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to get blown up, but not in time for the Choir Boy to die, because I didn't think he had the energy. But we're gonna Jesus here, just for the damage. And I didn't want to waste any other cards. Booyah! And we got the Chomper in front to help protect us. Oh, the Choir Boy comes out. Boom, Jesus, not dead yet. Should help deal a little bit with that Terrence. Not bad damage from Mr. Jesus himself. He will come back, put the Terrence Mephisto out right away when he comes back. Will Jesus deal? The quick attack ensures the general disarray coming on whatever he puts out. He puts out the pigeons that die immediately, the Terry, and then the Dougie comes in. Oh no, 56 damage. Unholy Combust can't do it. What is Moody gonna do? 101 damage, 101 Dalmatians. Dougie Dalmatians coming his way. Super Craig slow playing behind, keeping enough energy for that Aerostorm at all times. 
to protect from that Dougie. The moment he plays the Dougie, we play the Aerostorm and we slam into his fucking face. All right, we're gonna play the T-Bird to counter the Imp. Interesting, <clears throat> very interesting. The T-Bird actually has to walk around him, so it actually does a guarantee that he's gonna get the second one off. What are we gonna do? We put our Maxi out, no. Uh, his in Inuit dies to the Inuit. We have a pretty good push here. If the bird can get through, I should unholy whatever he puts out to deal with the bird. But we don't have to save in for that. And the bird is gonna finish it out. All because he played Dougie on an Arrow Storm week. Not a good choice. All right, now let's go to the adventure lock. These ones are always fun. Sometimes the decks are great, sometimes they're terrible. Who knows? Outcast, what's up, buddy? Team Wars went very well. It's straight up a game. Weird. Kira, Kira. I got kind of worried when I saw this. I don't know why, but 50, 64, or 68, not too worried. All right, we do have pretty base level cards here. We didn't get to upgrade too much stuff, but this, I mean, Thunderbird, I, I have base level because I don't have a copy of Thunderbird yet, so. We're gonna see what we can do with what the good Lord gave us. But we do have that level four Murph, which is gonna come in handy for sure. The Unholy on the, that's a great, the, oh my God, I can't even talk. The Thunderbird to counter, boom, the pigeons go down. And we do survive, but can we stop? It would be great if the traps were targetable by like AOE like that, because that would have been sick if the bird cleared out the path right at the end there. Oh, that would have been sweet. But if we can get one hit off here, which we, nope, not able to. That level three, must be max level three. That's quite a bit of damage. If we look at it, I'll be able to tell you. Interesting start there. Probably the Murph. Don't want to get him too close. Don't want to let him get close. All right, now we can chill back, drop this, make sure that Jesus is attacking the Murph. Beautiful. Now he, he could arrow storm here, but then he heals the Murph, so we'll see what he does. And Murph leads the way for the assassins. The arrow storm will clear the Inuit. Oh man, the unholy on the Murph. Not gonna stop the push though. Nice play and a little bit of heal on the new kid, which helps me deal with the Jesus freak. Watch this, look at that. He got two hits off and without that heal, how much is a deckhand heal? Is it more? If it's more than 60, that motherfucker just saved me the bar. Write him in, write him in, baby. He's a hero. And the Dougie gets one shot, even through the slow. Too bad. Might as well heal him. Might as well heal him. Oh, no, you healed someone who was doomed. He was doomed. But he was redeemed by his Lord Jesus. The pigeon's coming out. Just gonna play the arrow storm. Fuck it. Cause then the Jesus is free to get that last bar. Thousand billion IQ there, baby. Let's go, Jesus. Level two base cards doing the Lord's work. Could have smashed the Dougie. Could have done it, baby. What do you got to lose? Yeah, Jesus plays very different now. We're gonna pause him, boom, stun him again, boom. I actually removed his trap instead of hitting him with the trap, which, which wasn't too bad because Murph would have walked right into that trap. The Dougie coming from behind, brutalizing the bar and nothing can stop him. Sneaking by, just in the nick of time. All right, we'll switch over to adventure lock number two. Base cards, man, that's all you need in Team Wars. We'll see how it works in Gold League. <sighs> Try Nitro. Does that mean Discord Nitro? For $49.99? Probably the Super Craig. Super Craig's a great start. Can't go wrong with the Super Craig lead. All right, probably just play this guy, get some damage out, prevent him from, Oh, Boom, dealt with a couple of them. Let's see if we can blow up. Ooh, the pigeons, plus 49, this could be trouble. Nope, nope, not trouble at all. Oh no, the pigeons are alive. Uh-oh, What's who's alive, who's dead? I don't know what's going on, what's happening? But we play that choir boy out. Hopefully we'll get these heals. Ooh, he does take out 
The Murph, nice weight. I should have just slammed Inuit there. Or somebody, because he has no energy. That's why it took him so long to use that, because he was waiting for the five. So he's happy I'm waiting on energy right now. Level 12 new kid tearing shit up, right? Adventure looks fun, man. Bebe -be behind. Got the Inuit Kenny to protect the Medusa. I mean, the Ninju. Good unholy there. See if we can get him with the Inuit first. Boom! Protected! Now we get him with this. Don't even have to protect him. Can just play him out. Wait for the arrow storm, possibly, but protects from this. We're gonna, ooh, that's what I was waiting for. Now the Dougie is free to roam, but we'll see what this push does. Wait for him to play one card. Might be able to unholy it. Now nah, we'll wait with that. We're gonna get the bar, beautiful. Now the Jesus comes back. It's a little bit of damage there. We know the arrow storm's still not in the hand. So we could potentially drop the Dougie. We're gonna see how this works. Get ours out first. I don't know why he wouldn't have used his. He tried to stop me from getting mine. Gotta use that on the backside for the Dougie just to be sure. Now we drop this on the mid, see if we can get tool shed healed. But we might not need it. We'll see what happens. No, we take the bar with it. The threat of the heal was good enough to keep him from even playing a card. And the Jesus comes out. We're gonna do the damage to the Bebe, which will really limit her attack. That's fine. If he wants to kill my Inu, it was his Inuit. Like, that's totally fine. We're gonna put Bebe out. She's gonna kill the Jesus. She might one-shot him when he comes back, actually. Oh, and you play pigeons into the Bebe? Are you mad? There comes four energy and not four energy to stop the Dougie. Not that Murph needed much help, but the Dougie does come through. And right in the last eight seconds, taking it for that 114 victory. It's just like really different. It's better for like counter pushes. Build a counter push or maybe play him offensively and then he'll come back behind you. Like it'd be a good lead card to just lead Jesus in the middle and then he gets killed, he jumps to the back and then he can defend who from who killed him. You know, it's just different play, completely different play style, but he might be interesting. So we don't play the unholy. We opt not to play the unholy on the maxi because we feel like we can deal with the maxi, but there could be other targets that we might have to deal with. You know, we don't want to get Dougied, so we're going to hold on to the Unholy until we have, at least until we have the Aerostorm in our hands. Now having the Inuit is good, but the level two Inuit can't really deal. Now we're going to play this guy. He's going to hopefully help deal with the swarm here. Didn't kill the Kenny though, which is, or the, the Butters, which is unfortunate. He really got damage off on that Murph and really prevented us. Um, from from really having a, a stacked Murph, but the heal actually is gonna skip the Thunderbird and kill 463 onto the Murph, which is beautiful. The extra damage here on the Super Craig is gonna be really useful. The extra plus 114 is gonna, no way! She's down again! But the bird is doing his job. Bird is the word, beautiful, beautiful play. Now the Jesus is level three, not max, base three. Gonna play that, see what he's got. He's got his Dougie. We're gonna play ours. That's gonna chunk huge into the next bar. Craig getting knocked back. I was hoping he wouldn't get hit. That would've been nice. 228 left, that's really nice. We could Jesus. Nope. She's gonna take that. Ooh, she doesn't get the stack though. He should've waited a slight bit. He doesn't play Bebe much. Yeah, I thought he should come back. Where Jesus should come back is, pause it right here. Where Jesus should come back is wherever he dies, he goes back com like perfectly directionally to the horizontal, 90 degrees from, you know, right here. 90 degrees from the midline. So he goes back to the point where, where he just died will be the tip of his heel. So if he were if he were to die right here, then this is where he would come back. And I think that would be interesting. Just just back a little bit. 
So you could still potentially heal who was by him or defend or kill who's defending who healed him now, right? So I think that's what I would do. But all the way back at New Kid, we'll see if it's in front of New Kid. If it's behind New Kid, we'll have to we'll have to see. So I played that wrong. I tried to snipe the Thunderbird because the Thunderbird really is brutal for me. And I found that out in the last game. Um, but the lava when the tool shed is out is just not the choice. That's three energy basically wasted. We'll get the choir boy out and hopefully heal. Oh, don't need to get that damage out. Didn't think about the defense there. And the adventure lock coming through. All right, let's go the buckets three, two, one here. I face Rebel Scum from Nambly. He has level four. Le le yeah, yeah, Rebel Scum's Rebel Scum's a hell of a guy. Jedi, what's up, buddy? Exclamation point SPPD for the giveaway. If you haven't won in the last month, it'll be 350 cash, 3,000 PVP tickets, 2,000 coins, and three copies of one epic of your choice. Make sure you join if you want that boost in your account. If you've never played the game before, load it up, get your new kid name set up iOS, Google Play. If you win this giveaway, it's a great start. We're gonna steal the Maxi away from the new kid. Oh shit, and the pigeons come out, but we deal with one of them. See if we can get a bar. Oh, Super Craig, can you do it? Super Craig, oh, Super Craig coming in clutch. Now we're trying to get this Buccaneer Bebe to be able to clean up some of these pigeons. And she is able to get one, let's heal. Level two, Jesus, doing work on the top team in the game. <laughs> now, we're, Bebe isn't going to hit that, but Jesus is going to take that shot, which isn't too bad, but would have been nice if Jesus would have survived for sure. Now, we're going to play the Mysterion here just because it was a pretty decent reset. I had the energy, and he deals with it. Bad step, my friend. Learn how to assassin step. Come into a YouTube channel near you. That doesn't hit New Kid anymore, but the Dougie just wanted to finish that one off quickly. Making sure that Le Buckets is taking those wins for the boys. Hey, what's up, Demutta? Becoming nerfs and power up? It's crap. Oh, we'll talk about that later, man, for sure. Mysterion lead is always a good choice. Got a good matchup here, 5806. That's not gonna get me in time. Ooh, we take the hit. Mysterion actually doesn't get hit enough by New Kid. Brutal there. Aerostorm that, the heal won't do anything. We do get the stack on Bebe as well, so double, double stuff for your cookies there. And we got the Mysterion coming back. We got the Imp Tweak if it's something dangerous. The Jesus isn't really dangerous. We'll two-shot that. Oh, we'll see if it's two-shot or not. Oh, it is beautiful. That'll definitely be two-shot on the next one. Booyah. Let's see how she does against the knockback of the Super Craig. Either way, Mysterion's gonna come in and clean up for her. She doesn't get more than one attack off, but that plus 62 made it pretty brutal. We're not able to stop the Mysterion with ours. We're gonna put a little pressure here. We're gonna wait, we're gonna, oh, oh, we're gonna, we panicked! No, we took care of business. The unho, did you see our cursor? Did you see our panic cursor? Look at this. Oh, oh, in the thick of battle. Be smart, be smart, play the right card. Boom. Check your deck, check your deck. What's your best choice? What's your best, cause you'll see what I did there. My first choice was, my first choice was unholy the Dougie. See that? My, my, my hand immediately went over from the m Murph over to the unholy. This is what happened, you'll see it. Maybe I'm full of shit. We put him out, we put the Murph, we put the Murph back, and then look at that, our cursor, right right on Unholy. You see our on the cursor there? We knew that was a Dougie coming, and we knew we had to deal with it, but we're like, you know what? Do I have a better option? Do I want to imp him? Do I have a better option? So I look around, nope, Jesus, nope, nope, and then nope, we still take care of business. We also get rid of the Mysterion before he's able to get one more hit on the Super Craig. Stay calm, people. Stay calm. There's plenty of time to make a good decision. We get the imp coming out, but this actually might be unfortunate. Oh no, the Mysterion coming in perfectly, but are we gonna get the Ninju on the imp? Two damage plus the Ninju imp. Oh my God, brutal hits on the new kid. 
And the arrow storm doesn't help against the level four ninja, which is very recent for this account. We got that a couple weeks ago, I think. All right, and now for the now for the excitement of the day, boys. My first game on the buckets this week. Did a ninja Dougie combo? Hilarious. That's fantastic. Captain Slow from Coon Legends. As soon as you see in Coon Legends, you start thinking, uh oh. You know, they're not terrible players. They're good players. They are legends after all. 65 96, though, you can't be too worried about that. Lead with this tool shed. Not a bad start. The Thunderbird comes out. Kind of a brutal card. Buccaneer Bebe is really my only defense here. But I don't want to play the Buccaneer Bebe so soon and have her so easily removed by something. So we're gonna try to play this out, see if we can get the Buccaneer Bebe behind our new kid, maybe in a better position. The Buccaneer Bebe on the back side, that's about right. We do have the trap in front of us, but we hit his trap. Didn't get ours off in time. We do take one hit though, which is too bad. The Murph coming in. Don't really know what to play here. Trying to wait for this to be good. Trying to make sure that... I was waiting for him to use his ability so he would hit that fucking trap, but he never does. So we're like, okay, we gotta just play it. We play our underleveled Murph midline. And he turns to the Mysterion, which was a well play of the ability there. And we're in trouble here, boys. But we do have this, the Aerostorm 4. It does clean that guy out. But the Murph is gonna be in trouble here. Or the Aerostorm. We do get the Ninju hit, but the heal on the murph that just got ninjued we're in trouble here we got to play real clever here the ninju perfect timing on the mysterion help deal with it oh no the arrow storm deals with the mysterion and our plan is destroyed we still got the plus 78 he did switch from new kid though because of the explosion which really helped us out we have a little bit of a counter push here we were able to get the damage on the three if i would have played choir boy a little bit higher here he might have been able to kill the ninju without moving at all and my ninju would have survived that's unfortunate but ninju dies which is nice he gets the cycle but let's see what we can do here the damage coming out new kid no oh the craig double shot by yes double shot no the trap unused against the choir boy super craig sitting there against the new kid oh no not able to ink in the or not able to imp the inuit in time too many eyes i can't even can't even believe, but the imp did surprise him. He's got no range to play. Don't sleep on that imp. Heal that imp. It's only new kid plus 70. Oh, he gets the damage. Surviving the wonder tweak damage here. Getting the extra damage from the Jesus. Will the Jesus die? No. The Craig, not to Craig, the Dougie coming the backside. Guarantee and we get the second bar so we can at least take it to overtime. We tried to heal the Dougie perfect timing, but we didn't. He's gonna die, he's gonna heal, but not really big heal. We played him a little soon. He's taking the chips. If he would've played the ninju here, we would've been in trouble, but we weren't too worried about it. Baiting it out, getting the choir boy to take a little bit of the damage. The ninju comes out, not helping anybody. The super Craig pushing him back ever so slightly. Now we get that damage out on that Buccaneer Bebe. What we're gonna do doesn't matter. The Dougie coming through. Is it gonna stop us? No, we got the three lines of defense. Is this push gonna do it? 56 seconds. Whoa, the damage coming through from the Arrow Storm, but it's not enough. The plus 70 heal from the Jesus is gonna be all that you need to deal when you got plus 173 on your Bebe. There ain't much that's gonna stop you. Well played, and the spam ensues I gotta give you guys at least one of those a week right gotta keep it interesting <laughs>
<laughs> no, it was a well played, well played start. The ninju on the Murph really surprised me. It was tough. It was tough. Uh, but let's look at the deck choices for this week. A little bit of a different size here, so we have to adjust. This week is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, it's going to be fantasy neutral and adventure, which is going to be good for the adventure lock. Um, good and bad. Sometimes it's good to have a couple cards really leveled. Um, but then sometimes it's good to have a spread out deck. It really depends on what kind of cards are your cards that you can't level up. Like Wonder Tweak, pretty good base level because his 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 ability is the same no matter what. That comeback was awesome, yeah, man. That's why that's what I live for. We're having discuss intense discussion on Satan versus Incan. Yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good toss up. That that kind of depends on the rest of the deck. I'll explain that. I'll explain why I think one's better than the other for sure. Um, so let's get this out. One of my favorite parts of the stream, deck crafting is very fun to me. All right, so this week we got Choir Boy versus Paladin. At first glance, you're gonna wanna take the Paladin, two cost, there's no there's no gain in caps or anything since they're both common. Uh, a lot of people have Paladin upgraded from the back in the old days, not as many people have deckhand upgraded because even back then he wasn't great. So Paladin is a great choice. His shield, even if you want to save some caps, put him base level, his shield is still the same no matter what. So Paladin, I think for sure is the choice here. Unless you're trying to do something with like one of the tanks and keep one of the tanks alive, maybe you want to play deckhand, but deckhand is really good on Aerostorm weeks because he kind of nullifies the Aerostorm, right? Um, but in any other situation, the arrow storm or sorry the deckhand isn't a super great choice you know unless you're forced to play a mimsy then maybe deckhand but not a great choice i mean it does kind of help against the fireball but if i see a deckhand i'm just gonna wait till deckhand gets too far away to fireball right next choice is gonna be lightning versus transmog this is actually an interesting choice the transmog would prevent the lian from getting out of hand and getting too much value. Um, it would actually really brute, like if you if you, if you you put Leanne out, expecting Leanne to deal with the push, and she gets transmogged, you know, you might be in trouble. Especially if you already just hit the, you already just put the rats out, transmogged him, and then transmogged him, and then you just have some rats coming at you then. Could really benefit you. Um, but at the same time, the lightning bolt is quintessential to deal with you know a really troublesome card like a sharon or an amazingly randy or a sick or a psalm um it, you know it, it's very useful or you know maybe even a cki that's gotten too healed and there's no other way to deal with them um so i think in my opinion just because leanne's an option and leanne can deal with your 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 garrison your um, I guess technically your psalm, um, shout out my mom, <laughs> uh, your your you know your PC principal pushes stuff like that. Even though PC principal pushes her away, he'll still walk right into it unless he pushes her backwards or something. So, I I, I think that lightning bolt for this slot is better just because there's other removal choices. Um, but if you end up going fireball, maybe you wouldn't want to do. Fireball and Lightning Bolt, you know, it, it kind of depends. You can save the caps though on the Transmog. Transmog base level would be good. So if you have to save caps somewhere, that could be a decent choice. It's not going to really change the deck too much. The Six Element Randy, or Six Element Randy, the Stand of Many Moons and the Space Warrior. Space Warrior, god damn it, I keep messing these up. I am fucked up. The Shield Maiden is honestly my choice. Three cost incredible the other team's gonna have the lightning bolt just sitting in hand waiting for that psalm the the shield maiden is a great defense against cox she could take she could tank the hit against the the him the the incan could tank the satan could could deal with with any number of these cards in a one-on-one -on -one situation can deal with six element randy in a one or no, god damn it why did i call him six element can deal with psalm in a one-on-one -on -one competition. So I think, in my opinion, based on all the cards out there, you don't want to put Psalm out and just get Leand. You don't want to put Psalm out and just get Transmogged or Lightning Bolted. I think 
I think you want to go Space Warrior. And this week, let's look at the other cards. You don't want to push Sharon out of the way. You don't want to push CKI out of the way. I think Sheriff might be the choice here. Sheriff can kind of help deal with the Cox, the Rats, um, the Gnomes. I think he's a pretty decent card this week. I don't think PC Principal is the choice. PC Principal, you could easily misplay into an incredibly stacked um, CKI or a, a, a Sharon that heals for years. Um, so I think I think... I think Sheriff's the choice here. CKI, I will always pick in Team Wars. I think he's incredible. Um, Incan and Satan kind of nullifies him a little bit, but you know, if you if you bait the uh, you bait the removal with everybody else, you get a good CKI out there. Maybe with a Robin tweak, you know, that could be the game. It could be game winner. So, Cox versus Fireball. The Fireball target would be amazingly Randy Outlaw, uh, an underleveled Som. The CKI that he plays next to Randy, you know, stuff like that. Uh, you know, if the if the Sharon's not leveled totally high, then you could get him get the the Fireball and her. So I think Fireball has a lot of uses this week. The Cox are always a good choice just because the 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 pressure you can put with the Cox, especially with the type of removal that's in the deck. You get the cock out. You get a couple support characters out there. You know, you're, you're, you're using Lightning Bolt, you're using Satan, you, you, I mean, it's pretty good. You're using Labard to deal. The Cox might be pretty good. So I think if you go Lightning Bolt, maybe you could go Cock, Cock House to help defend a little bit, you know, get a little extra tip. You know, you put the Cock House out, one Cock hits the Psalm, and then you can Lightning Bolt them by that one level, you know, so. Yeah, there's no Belf, so the Cocks are good there too. You couple those cocks with the Randy cocks, and you got a pretty good cock fest going on, right, Peg? Satan versus Inkin. Um, I like Inkin for the fact that you could sit amazingly Randy behind PC Principal or Sheriff or Garrison, for that matter, and you could get a lot of damage and a lot of value from that. So much value that you would bait the lightning bolt and then you just play the sound behind them and then you're kind of in a good shape. So I think because of that, I think the Incan being able to snipe the Amazingly Randy or potentially the Sharon um, or potentially the the Psalm or the Outlaw or the, the Space Warrior, um, it's very valuable and yeah, like Demutta was saying, Satan's very high value, and when you have, you're gonna have the five cost in Sharon or Garrison, you're gonna have the five cost in probably Transmog or Fireball. You know, you don't wanna be five, five, five in your hand. You just don't. There's not a whole lot of decks that run, or five, five, six, I guess. There's not a whole lot of decks that run three cards that much. Um, so it, it is it is better because of the cock magic. You can really delay with the cock magic and then save up the energy for the Satan. So I think it really depends on how scared you are of the Amazingly Randy. If you're scared of Amazingly Randy, you're not going to get him into Satan range if the guy's any good. So being able to snipe behind that push, behind the cock swarm that's coming at you, behind the gnomes and the rats that are getting put in front of you, you know, regardless of the removal that they might throw at you, I think Inkin might be a good choice. Robin Tweak versus Outlaw. I really like the Outlaw when Pigeons could be out there, the Gnomes could be out there, the Rats could be out there. You know, if, if somebody plays plays Leanne and plays the Gnomes behind it, you drop the Outlaw, it's a pretty good chance it'll hit the, the Gnomes, and then she doesn't get any cocks when she dies, so it really helps out. Peace out, Loyal. Cock magic will be six by Saturday. Isn't that next week? Or is that tomorrow? Is the season reset tomorrow? That was next week. Yeah, I think the mother's right. So I really like the outlaw. I don't love the Robin tweak on this week, but I could see him. We'll run him on, on this is Namblos. We'll run him on Namblos and I'll get good value from him. We'll have some fun. Get the PC principal buffed with him or something. 
force an unhold or force a transmog on him and then some stuff. We'll, we'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be fun. I think Labard's the choice here for the dummies that decide to go pigeons. Uh, it's good defense against a paladin. It's good defense against you know the to kill the CKI after he gets a st uh, one hit or one stack. Um, you could clean out the Sharon before she's gonna heal herself. You know I think Labard's got a lot of and it's common. You know it's not bad. Labard's the key card. Yeah, he's he's gonna be good. Deal with the cocks a little bit. Amazingly, Randy, I think, is your choice here just because the pressure you can put on with those level 4 or 5 cocks. Um, but it might depend a little bit on caps. Sharon is good. Level 6 rare, level 5 rare. Very good card. Put her behind Garrison. Put her behind PC Principal or Sheriff. Going to be pretty pretty good value you're going to get out of her. Um, if they drop an underleveled fireball, you'll survive and you'll heal up the troops. So, pretty good. Um, I would prefer the Randy, though. So, depending on your cap situation, probably. If you save the caps in Transmog, I'd use them in Amazingly Randy, probably. Uh, I personally think Leanne's the choice here. She can clean up a rogue Psalm. She can clean up a rogue, um, you know, PC Principal even. You know, maybe a CKI that got two stacked. Whatever it might be, uh, Leanne can help deal with that. She's kind of a nuisance. She, she's hard to exactly know what to play against her. Sometimes she'll make you freeze. Is it worth the Transmog? And then you play Psalm, and then you're free to go with the rest of your push. So Garrison this week, though, is very good as well. He's going to deal with the pushes. He's going to deal with the swarms. He's going to deal with the cocks. Um, he's going to be in pretty good shape for most of the deck. Um, and then he's going to be able to deal with those pigeons where most other cards won't. You get a gear, you get like a Robin tweak on him after somebody else gets transmogged. It's a pretty good, pretty good push. But then the Leanne could come out against you. So I think the Leanne just counters too many cards to not run the Leanne, even at level two. Use the Leanne level two and then protect her from the swarm so that she doesn't get extra stuff. LB Sam, Phoebe Randy, yep. Swarm on Leanne, Saint Incan, their swarm, yep. It's gonna be interesting, yeah. There's gonna be some really interesting s games and, and matchups, and there's gonna be some really, really brutal ones that aren't really difficult at all. <laughs> all right. One step closer to that giveaway. Let's switch on over for week 18. We got the developer update. Let me move this over here. All right, we'll pull that up. This week we got a lot to talk about, so strap in boys. And I can only imagine that the comments are just a clusterfuck. So I hope you guys are ready for this. We started at an hour. We'll see how far, see how far this takes us. Yeah, that's a big change, see money All right, the weekly timetable. Looks like they're continuing with these separated events the monday event the tuesday wednesday event thursday friday event and then saturday sunday event which is great for me because for the stream i play thursday friday saturday sunday so i can clean out all these events um without much effort i don't get too much on the tuesday wednesdays but you know that's not too bad anyway so i i, th I think i like what they're doing i mean we got seven president garrisons and if you're a newbie and you get seven, that's like level three almost immediately. That's fantastic. So I'm I'm kind of okay with that to get those lower accounts getting boosted up real quick. But the fact that that doesn't increase for the top players is kind of frustrating too. But seven for me is pretty good too. Getting him to level you know four or, or from four to five, seven. That's seven percent of a hundred. That's not bad in one event. That's seven percent of progress of a card. That ain't bad for one event. And I'm pretty sure I picked up two extra ones, so 9%, that's pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain about that. Um, but I mean, they are definitely, I'd be interested to see overall per week what you're getting now versus what you were previously getting. Um, I'm thinking that overall, you're definitely getting more when it comes to, you know, challenges, the different events, um, team, team wards, uh, team wars. And then the, uh, what are they called? The, the end of season rewards, you know, double legend chances is, has, is, you know, wasn't always an option. So that those have increased as well. They play empires and puzzles. They would love SPPD. Yeah, empires and puzzles is fun. 
It's brutal though, man. Leveling up those shits is brutal. But as you can see, we got another full event. Monday, we got adventure themed token collection that Adventure Lock can't participate in. Wednesday, we got the challenge mode, chaos challenge, which all Dougie butters and spell cards cost one energy less than usual. That's interesting. That's interesting. That one might be pretty fun. Dougie butters and spell cards. Disarray is really good, so him being three cost would be good. On Thursday, we'll start with token collection. And then Saturday, we'll have the big Mesquite Murph card event. Getting seven Mesquite Murphs, that would be sweet. So we'll see what, we'll see if they keep that up. We're going to be able to play with the new Jesus? No. Or wait, is that now? No, is that season? That's season reset. That's next week. So unfortunately, we won't be able to play with the Jesus. But we get that Thunderbird boosted, which is always awesome. General Disarray boosted. So this is gonna be kind of like last week. We had J Disarray 7. We'll have Big Mesquite Murph boosted too though. That'll be fun. So this will maybe some 4 ass Monkey boosted. Have some fun there. We'll see. Um, that looks like quite a bit of fun though. So those events should be pretty good. Don't forget to join the official Discord server. SP Discord in chat for the link, exclamation point. Update 4.6.2 is now rolling out. Check the local app store. This is a smaller bug fix update. Here's what we fixed. Uh, some good stuff here. So issues where in-game achievements were broken for some users. They've said that a few times. Achievements are very weird uh, in the Google Play Store and iTunes and stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of difficult to fix them when they're broken. So I understand their issues always coming back over and over. Fixed an issue where the card request would fail. They've said that before too. Um, so hopefully they're finally buttoning up that shit. Fixed an issue. Oh, hello, Brian's coming in. And caress your woman in my day. Like your mode and perspire. Hello, Brian. Beautiful, coming in, exclamation point SPPD for that giveaway. Don't forget, 350 cash. 3,000 PvP tickets, 2,000 coins, and three copies of one epic of your choice. Coming at ya. Make sure you join. We'll be doing two of those at the end of the stream, which will be after we're done with this shenanigans. Uh, but we're just talking about the updates here. They adjusted the zoom out look on certain widescreen devices, which is great, which is fantastic. I know a lot of people were frustrated with that, so hopefully that'll go back to a little bit more normal on my device, other people's devices. But, and hopefully they don't break it for other people in the process. Robo Bebe should be speeding people back up again, so that's good. Fixed an issue with the legal turds would pop up and the game would become unresponsive. Never see, seen that, so probably intermission issue somewhere. Fixed an issue where some legendary arena battlefields were missing background items. I did see that. I saw a couple where they had like a black, just black. Um, so that was pretty interesting. Fixed a visual issue where Unholy Combustion Reticle that made it slightly smaller than it actually was. That's great. That's great. That's good. That was a real hassle. Real David Hasselhoff. All right, now we got the balance changes, which are the big talk. Big talk. As with every legendary reset season, or season reset, next week we'll have some balance changes come into the game. These changes will go into effect following the legendary season reset on May 5th. Note, these changes are currently pending and the finalized list will be in next week's update. All right, so first off, Blood Elf Bebe. Reduce the HP gain per kill by 23%. Okay, okay. I think her, I think that's pretty good. I think her real strength was, am I like lagging? What's going on over there? Um, I think her real strength was, Equinox, what's up? Her real strength was her just base attack as a three drop common card with her range, um, she had she has quite a bit of attack. Um, but now that that attack won't translate to incredibly exorbitant health pools, I think it's a little bit more manageable, and I think that's pretty fair. I was expecting them to touch her base attack too. So from, you know, eight at base, it's probably instead of 130, it might be like more like 110 per hit or something like that. So. We'll see how that plays out. I think she'll still get plenty of play. I don't think that, um, I don't think she'll, um, I don't think she'll see much less play. Maybe at higher, higher ranks, she won't be able to hang as much as she used to be able to. Um, but I think 
I think for most people, they won't really see much of a difference. Sexy Nun Randy. Now this one's interesting. Charge power time reduced by 33%. Um... I mean, that's pretty good. She does have, she already has pretty quick attack. Um, and her spawn time is really fast. So she doesn't get punished. Like if you get six element Randy, you get him more robots that could potentially punish his total DPS time, right? But with sexy nun, those things are out immediately and you're almost back into your fighting form in a, in a second. So that might be pretty good for, for the Randy. Yeah, there's something going on. Let me try to, let me kill a couple of things real quick. Yeah, dude, my computer's going slow. Um, so yeah, I think Randy, Sexy Nun Randy might be pretty good at the level five. Um, level four, it might not be worth it, but I guess we'll kind of see. Now the Poseidon stand really interests me because we've seen we've seen how we've seen how punishing the slow can be because of because of witch and if you couple that with witch doctor's damage you know you slow who's attacking him he gets his ability off when he wouldn't um, you know the ninju damage i think i think this might be good so he's getting increased hp and increased attack which will put him more in line with you know like an epic fighter which is Pretty good. The slowdown duration is set to eight seconds across all levels, which used to be upgraded to eight. So now at whatever level he's gonna be as useful, so you don't have to have him six, so that's good. Um, now the charge power time reduced by 20% from 15 to 12 doesn't seem like a lot, but when you look at that, that's eight seconds. That's only four seconds they're not slowed. One, two, three, four. I mean, one, two, three, four. It's not long and then you can have it out already. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. This one, the best thing, cock magic. He has to separate it or else he'll get, <laughs> that's really funny. Um, the cock magic from five to six, good start, good start. Angel Wendy increased base health by 28% and reduced the charge time on her power to 15 seconds from 20. Now, I wish they would have just increased the amount, Seahawk magic. I wish they would have just increased the heal amount um, because as it stands now, like 200 something, it's not super useful when it's only three people that it heals. Um, and it's the closest, so it can be, you know, less, less good as reaching out to somebody. But I think, I think that'll be pretty good. You know, from 15 to 20, which with Hanky goes from 15 to 7. So... Pretty quick. So every 70 seconds, your heals, your push is getting healed. 20... 200, 300. Not bad, not bad. Now Jesus is gonna respawn near the new kid. Which I don't really understand. You guys saw in my battles how good Jesus was at continuing a push. Especially in team wars when your your guys don't die. So if I have Imp with 20 health and a Shield Maiden Wendy with 20 health almost ready to shield and both of them would get killed by New Kid and I put Jesus out or Jesus spawns from the, from the death and he heals them both if he's leveled like 100 something, 200, that's another bar potentially. So I think it'll be good for a couple of different things. You can lead with Jesus midline He'll potentially get a hit on New Kid or force an assassin play. By the time he spawns, he should be in position to defend from that assassin. And then you have a, a range card behind your New Kid ready to defend. So, I mean, it's potential. There's potential there to play him in very, very interesting ways. Very different from what he is now. Um, but I think there's potential. So I don't have him anywhere leveled, but in events, we'll play with them. We'll see. There might be value there. There could be value there. And that's all we've got. If you got any questions, feel free to jump into the Discord server and ask. 
He's like a combination deckhand Mysterion. Forces him to play something if he dies on the field. Yeah, if he dies close to New Kid. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate. If it would hit New Kid with a heal, that'd be nice, like a deckhand. So we'll see. Buck Toller, will there be sci-fi and fantasy weeks as well? After all these adventure mystics, sci-fi neutral? Superhero neutral? I expect one of those, not another adventure, to be honest. Wasn't it just fantasy week not that long ago? Respawn to the closest ally. See, that's a good idea. Closest ally or new kid. I like that. I like that. Greglar, you might be right. There might be some good tactics that come out of them. We'll see. Do you ever listen to the community? Don't answer that. We already know you don't. What are you talking about, dude? I've heard some very adamant parts of the community talking about how bullshit cock magic is for a long time now. So maybe you're not part of that community. Those card changes are the stupidest thing. I think they were all good. What the fuck? That guy's just being an asshole. Whatever, fuck him. Thanks for the update, Buck. Any feedback on the rewards changes? Still looking rough out there? I don't know, man. Seven Garrison is good. I mean, he's right. Not worth the mega reduction in every part. I agree. The coin reduction's the biggest issue. It's tough to get coins on Adventure Lock. Um, or on free to play accounts as it is. How dare you nerf the best common in the game. <laughs> I have to agree with this. Fantasy and sci-fi have been neglected in the last six months. Okay. Buck, we're getting way fewer coins than before, and it looks like nobody's satisfied with that. That's very true. I know the rewards are focused, but they don't help anybody. With these rewards, low-ranked players have even more difficulties catching up. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't disagree there. It's tough out there for a pimp. I'm broke, son! I'm broke! Raising the cost of cock magic will make it a lot less interesting to use, since you often need to follow up exactly. It really, all, really what it does is it doesn't increase the cost of cock magic to six. It increases the cost of cock magic and gnomes to eight. <laughs> That's what it does. It's a gnome counter. It's a gnome debuff too. Was this card a big problem? Yes. Haven't seen a lot of complaints about it. You're not looking in the right place then, my friend. Or why did you decide to modify the cost? Dude, what do you mean? You can turn 15 cost into to, to something that two cost can deal with. How do you not see that that's six cost is totally fine? Now that's a start. Which garrison and gnomes next, please? All right, all right, I'm down. Sci-fi week is on the schedule in a few weeks. I'll let the team know that a more consistent schedule would be appreciated. I think they'd know that. It's tough out there for a low-level adventure lock deck. <laughs> what about the increased point requirements for the weekend events? Okay, so my understanding is this. You have an okay chance of getting okay rewards all throughout the packs now. So you could get an epic in the first pack, whereas previously you couldn't get shit all except some coins, decent coins, don't get me wrong. You couldn't get shit all unless you get the last pack in the event, which forced you to get 100 points. So in the previous system, you were forced to play for 100 points to get any value. Whereas now you could play just until you get one epic or you get those seven epics, whatever it is, the 20 cash, you could play till whatever you think is worth it and then stop because you wouldn't feel like you would need to play to the end because you wasted your time getting halfway there if you didn't get to the end. Now, getting halfway there, it does, shouldn't feel like as much of a waste because you have a, you're having chances at good cards. Now, I understand that psychologically that's hard to switch to that concept, and I'm not saying I think that that's better, but that's the idea. That's the idea. No longer do I feel obligated to finish the event when I pick up seven g garrisons at the end. I only had to get 75 points instead of 90 points this weekend for the event. That's fine to me. You know, so... I don't know. It's interesting. Um, it's different, and I think obviously they'll refine it. It's not... This isn't the last way they're gonna do this i promise you that the game's gonna constantly morph there'll be different things happening later um so we'll just have to adjust to it as of now pvp packs are really your money if you just want to consistently grind for your for your rank and be benefited for it 
um, your events. I think hopefully they bring back the arena thing where you get a little bit more. Maybe you don't get more garrisons in that. Maybe you still get seven garrisons, but at least give higher coins, PvP tickets, mats, maybe common cards, whatever. At least give higher chances or higher amounts of that to higher ranks than then keep it flat across the board. I don't think that's the choice, guys. Free-to-play players leaving the game because D-Rankers are in the game. Free-to-play players in games like this will always leave the game. It's not necessarily a, a uh, a, an issue with the state of the game. It's not necessarily an issue. Most free-to-play players are just looking for the next way out. They're pot committed and they want that, that one thing where they can change. They can say like, okay, that's the thing that's gonna make me leave. And then they're psychologically able to do it then. So whatever they need, let them do it, man. More power to them. At least do something with the events because at the moment they're garbage. I don't think they're garbage. I think you get what you put into them now, but it's just spread out more. You don't have to put this much in. You can get value from here. Before you don't get value. You don't, no value, no value, no value, no value, value. Now it's value, 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 value. Could you get unlucky and not get an epic early? Yeah. Could you get unlucky and not get anything you need? Sure. Sure. Do you see that epic and you not give a shit about Garrison? Then don't play the event. Who cares? Play a two cost deck. Take advantage of it and rank up and maybe get better end of season rewards. And then... Get two or three packs because that's all you play. That's fine. Whatever. Nobody is forcing you to play these events. They're not made for everybody to finish them. There, how many people do you think don't finish events? I bet you you'd be so surprised how many people for a long time have never finished the events. The balance changes are so disappointing. Wow, what game do these people play? Mystic's already the most OP theme in the game. That's not true. At high levels, not really true. Yet you buff some of their crappy cards. I mean, yeah, <laughs> so then they're good at lower levels. Keep looking after your whales. I mean, come on. If anything, the cock magic change was the most detrimental hit to whales in the game. You don't know what you're fucking talking about, bro. No more buff for legendary and nerf for superheroes. LOL. Superheroes didn't get nerfed, right? I, th I thought it was 1300. Update based on the Team Wars choices. I was stoked when I finally got all my cards to friendly level. Yeah, exactly. Finally, a cock magic nerf. Praise the sun. Beautiful, Shadow Tash. Do you have anything planned for the D-Rankers? Really making the game unplayable. I mean, they really just need to make make your rank matter. More than just your PvP. Your, your, your event rewards should be up. Your challenge rewards should be more, maybe. Something. Or at least the challenge matchmaking shouldn't punish you for being high ranked. Bullshit. But they're the ones spending $1.99 for epics each day. You'd be surprised, dude, how many people would do that. Like, there's other games I play where there's a daily $2 deal where you get one legend card or one epic level card, whatever. It's a common thing, man. People will do it. When you're just starting and you only need, like, four copies to get that boost... You'll be buying that every day. It'll take a month and you'll have a pretty good epic collection. <laughs> you have anything planned? Oh, I read that one. How dare you nerf my precious Blood Elf, baby! And nice fuck changes on cock magic. Don't even use the card, but that's just stupid. How about nerfing Mystic Energy Gain? Make Medusa's health the same as Mecha and nerf. She attacks so fucking slow. Her whole concept is that she's a slow attacking tank range card. She's the only one in the game. And you want to just make her more like Mecha. Let's make all the range cards the exact fucking same. Let's make all the range cards the same range and make them all glass cannons. This is fucking stupid. Don't you play games and want them to be different? I wonder who came up with the idea, let's buff a bunch of Mystic cards. That theme is far behind and needs some love. After all, it only has great legendaries, Epic's Assassins, cheapest Cartman tank. The only theme with energy boost. Not technically... No, that's technically true, you're right. <laughs> the only theme with energy boost, spells for all occasions. What? Not really. You can heal. Well, I guess Power Bind Purify is pretty 
pretty all occasions. I, I, I'll give him that. I think the recent balance changes have been able to shake things up just a bit. I see no reason to buff so many Mystic cards at once at this point. I mean, nobody who's running the decks that you're talking about are gonna be benefited by Poseidon being better. Are you fucking joking? Still no balance changes for Call Girl? Compared to Pope Timmy, yeah, it's pretty bad. I'll, I'll give that. Call Girl's pretty shit. <laughs> But I don't want her to be good because she'll be really good. So, fuck that. Let her be terrible. Finally, some fantasy nerfs. Now, which garrison slave gnomes and DSR next? Somebody said that already. Pretty sure SNR needed a buff to his attack and damage per second. Ah! His little guys were always his damage per second. That's kind of the idea. He drops the assassins. He's not the attack. His assassins are the attack. It's kind of the idea. You guys need to understand that these cards have kind of little ideas behind them. Like Medusa's the tank, slow attacking, range card. Like, Terry's the flying AoE card. Like, he should be fairly easy to kill, but if you keep him alive, keep him a short range and he's good. You know what I mean? Like, it's that's the, that's the concept. Wendy may do work. Wendy could be good. Wendy with Maxi might make a comeback. What up, Brian? I don't know what this guy's saying. Could you do an event where you could at least win at least one copy of Stand of Many Moons, please? It's the only one I'm missing. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. Also, Jesus respawning back to New Kid makes his second heal useless. I don't think it makes it useless. I think it's just a completely different fucking situation. It is a completely different situation. You could play him on defense behind your push then if he spends energy to kill him, then he spawns and he keeps protecting your push. With a Zen, that could be awesome. So I think it's just a completely different moveset. It's a completely different card. Great update, although I know you mainly use a statistics-based approach to these balance changes. Thanks for reviewing and listening to the community on the cock magic nerf. Friar Pot, my homie! Why is there yet another fucking adventure event? Whatever, guys. Like, you don't want all your, your decks to be leveled? Like, come on. SNR spits out Choir Boys faster than Poka spits out Little Indian Boys. In exchange, Pocahontas slaps faster. Yep. It would be better if it healed New Kid. Yeah, I said that earlier, Greg. I agree. If it, hel if it held, at least you get something out of it. Or, I mean, even better, it would it would spawn to the nearest nearest ally. So if you have someone almost dead near their new kid, it'll spawn right next to him, right? That gives you control to make him a really interesting card. You can play him in all of those situations now. Leave the fucking cock magic alone. Where's this coming from? Are you fucking kidding me? It's a highly situational card. No, it's not. All you need is two cards out there and I just got cock magic value. Two cards. There's almost no fucking iteration of two cards that you could put out there unless you play two assassins that wouldn't get me equal value back on the five cost cock magic you play one four cost range and any other card and you get value one legend card and one other card and you get value what are you talking about the whole idea is that it's not situational because burning five energy is it situational? Satan, six energy, a little more situational. Fuck. Very risky to use any time. Yeah, it should be. It should be risky. Oh, he doesn't want to be held. It should be fucking risky. Why shouldn't it be fucking risky? There should be no risk to that card. It wipes the fucking board and there's no risk. Fuck. It should be three cards only. Three cards only. And you're forced to have one of your cards out there. That's it. Leave it five cost. Three cards only. And you're forced to have one of your cards out there. And then every level, it decreases the level of the cocks and increases the level of your cock. So you could potentially have a level nine cock out there. Would be awesome. Two cocks isn't worth 
What energy when you're a level 25 new kid though, bro? That doesn't bug you. Unless it's level 7, I guess. I don't know, man. It will not work anymore with 6 energy. Oh my god, dude. When I play 6 element Randy, Ninju, Mecha, and Medusa, and he needs to spend 6 instead of 5 to deal with that? Or excuse me. Excuse me. 8 instead of 7 to put the gnomes to kill the fucking cocks and not take any new kid damage. So you need to spend eight damage to deal with my whole fucking push instead of seven? And it won't work anymore? Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Whatever. 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 It's definitely not OP, whatever. It's coming from the big spenders who want to protect their level 4 and 6 legendaries. It's also coming from the free-to-play players who busted their ass for years to get level 4 legends who are running up against people with level 3 legends or level 2 legends who are wiping their board with fucking cock magic. Are you fucking stupid, man? You don't think that there's people... Like, the, the, there's a whole fucking board of people. And there's the big people up here that are going to be mad at those people. But then those people are going to be mad at these people. And then these people are going to be mad at these people. And those people are going to be mad at those people. It goes on forever. So the, there's going to be a level fucking 15 that's going to be happy with this change. There's going to be a level... I wonder what theme their main theme is. These fucking... F these fucking home leavers. God. Yeah, people won't expect the cock magic anymore. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not even going to justify that. Why is it so hard for Red Links to run themed events in a balanced, logical manner? Since the start of these full week of events, adventure, mystical, superhero, neutral, sci-fi fantasy. <laughs> that was a period when they started doing events two years ago, where they were seemingly doing sequential themed events. Got through three, then did back-to-back -back mystical. Guess they still haven't learned that people want stuff from all things, not just one. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't do that. Bacola, what's up? Seems like some people say a six cost isn't enough for a nerf. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So clearing 10 to 15 energy off of the board for five cost isn't OP, okay. <laughs> wow, big nerfs to fantasy. Did not see the belt nerf coming, really? Even though we all know she's an OP common and cornerstone to fantasy, but okay, cock magic too. Wow, too much, what? The card is useless until level 4. No, it's fucking not. It's fun at level 3, because you can gamble with it. You can have two of your cards out there, three of his. Roll the fucking dice, baby. Change the game. It'd be awesome. SNR just makes him spawn another kid or two before he dies. Yeah, that could be awesome. He needed something. I don't know. That I think that's it. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be good. I have access to in case they turn out good. Yeah, I, I like the Osimos and the and the or the not the Osimo, the Poseidon and the Wendy. This should be interesting. Sucky heroes need love. Wonder what will come now since all the main heroes from the show and the game are here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe they'll make some new ones. Gnomes to three cost. I I wouldn't hate that. But I feel like they want to keep them two cost, so they're gonna just change them. Cause the they don't want to have two cost and three cost or three cost and three cost, like the rats and the gnomes. Well, Friar, I know you're one of the big spenders who would be happy about the change, so no surprise to see comment. Yeah, whatever, dude. Don't be a fucking ad hominem piece of shit. You didn't ex you didn't say it wasn't OP, you fucking loser. You suck. You do realize there's usually a very small window of opportunity in which to play the card perfectly, right? Yeah. So? Fucking so? Fucking so? There should be a fucking way to play the card right. But the point is, if you play it right, which isn't that fucking hard unless you're a fucking big fat sack of fucking Mimsy, this fucking card is easy as shit to get value from. Unless you're going up against a, a, a fantasy sci-fi deck that is 2.5 cost. Sure, then your cock magic's not going to get much value that hand. Whatever, play four carded. It doesn't even bug you at all. But the ease of taking 15 energy off the board or playing like a fucking idiot and just cleaning it up for five energy and you think there's only a small window you can play it i don't even want to read this because it'll make me a worse player fuck me 
Don't break Jesus. His entire niche is giving a second push wind, which doesn't work if he respawns. I agree there. He He's useful the way he is now. Just nobody had him leveled. Nobody really tried him out. I got some good value with him on Team Wars. You guys saw that shit. So? But the, most of those sci-fi fantasy decks are running cock magic, though. So if you're saying that's the most meta deck and cock magic is in it, you just prove my point, bro. Great, so Medicine Woman Sharon is still OP as fuck, making matchmaking still sucks. Great job, clap, clap, clap. LOL. Aerostorm is pretty meh. Meh. I think Aerostorm does its job when it's leveled up, right? Glad those two got nerfed, but what about low cost spamming? DSR is basically a crutch. Then you got people using Space Warrior and Forester Gnomes. Blah, blah, yeah, I mean, the deck I was talking about. And because DSR exists, Transmog, etc., you can actually build off your own tank that directly counters the spam. What? Tone down this. What are you talking about? DSR does half damage to it. Not take half HP away, just damages it. What? Well, you can't heal it, so what does it fucking matter? What a fucking stupid comment! What do you mean? It has 100 health, you take 50 of it, you're not gonna heal that fucking back, so what does it fucking matter? What a dummy. Jesus Christ. It is useless with his power binded, I'll give it that. It should be affected by Enforcer, because that's an area thing, I get that, that makes sense. It sh you shouldn't be able to power bind it, that's bullshit. You can just use two cost to completely remove, like, if you, if you power bind Som, he's still at least a fighter. If you power bind Thunderbird, he's nothing. He's just, he's a thousand health, that's it. He's a zen, he's a flying zen that can't taunt. It's terrible. I think Inkin's all right. He just needs more chip damage back. His damage is good. It kills everything he needs to. Of everything here, the most interesting route was the focus of commons. Seems like the mega buff to epics and legends so long ago is finally catching up to them. Well, that would should have been the idea. You do a blanket, then you hit him slowly. Well, I don't really agree with many of the balance changes they made. How can you not agree with some of these? Like, what? Been so sick of the three or four cards from the past. I mean, that's how you balance fucking cards. You don't change 30 at once, man. Do you play any other game like this? You don't change 30, 40 cards at once. You change three or four because each one of those cards could introduce a new bug completely. You don't want to do that, man. No way. None of these cards I use or anticipate using. So this doesn't really affect me too much. Okay. So then why comment? <laughs> What's up, Drew? He's a two cost flying. Yeah, I guess two cost flying. Yeah. Two cost flying Zen, because it takes the two away. But most likely, you could probably power bind somebody else. Because if you're running Thunderbird, you're probably running something else that could benefit from the hanky, right? So. I do love how they make lots of bugs with every update. Yeah. Hey, I love how they make lots of bugs with every update, but I want them to do more than three or four a time! Because I fucking make sense! Cause I'm a logical fucking human being with reasonable ras rational thought processes. Jesus Christ, that's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I love it. They're terrible. They can't make, they can't do updates without making bugs, but they should do more updates at once. That is fucking comical. Print that out and post it. Frame it on the wall. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Uh, I've been playing CM a long time and maybe once I've cleared more than 10. Yeah, right, dude. If you have 15 energy on the field to your opponent zero, then you deserve a cock in the face. That's the, I, that's the thing, though. That's the thing. When the fucking push started, I didn't have 15 to your zero. You had 15 energy on the board because you played like a fucking potato, but I didn't have cock magic because I'm not a cocksucker. And you put out fucking ninju and you came at me and I built a counter push out of 15 energy that did so well that it was still fucking alive when it came up to you and you could just use five energy to get rid of it all. Are you fucking dumb? That's how you use fucking cock magic. You don't realize that that 
that amount of energy is there because I just dealt with a bunch of your energy. Very well, very effectively. Maybe even got three of my units with a ninju on it because you played into me like a fucking idiot. But oh, it doesn't matter. By the time I get to you, you have cock magic. By the time my cocks get to you, you have gnomes ready. Go fuck yourself. Haven't gotten more than 10 energy. Are you fucking stoned? Haven't gotten more than 10 energy. Are you kidding me? Wow. Wow. Yeah, there you go. I fucking agree with Scott. I agree with Scott. 15 energy on the field? If you're in a position to have 15 energy on the field, it's not the guy with 15 energy that effed up. You don't deserve to remove it. Exactly. I use Osimo and Six Element, those two alone, and 10 energy. You put those two out with a BHK on a good push, you got two fucking unstoppable units. Oh, cock magic, cock magic. It's fucking stupid. At least let the cocks carry through my fucking ninju boost. So you have to at least run rogue or something who will just get eaten up by my cocks. You fucking trash can. Fuck yeah, Scott, you're learning. Holy shit, guys, mark it, mark it down. Mark it down. I agreed with Scott. As someone who has cock magic used against all the time, it is OP, the script goes the same. This is gonna be exactly what I said. Opponent push fails, so they wait and build their energy close to 10. I stop their push with a tank and two warriors, spending about nine or 10 energy. Once my allies get to the midfield, they use cock magic and immediately summon blood elf. See magic is opposite of Pope Timmy. Pope lets you spend six energy to instead up to 13. Sea magic basically lets you use five to cancel out a lot more of your energy summon energy. And if they put Belf out, it gives her boosts, which gives her a tank boost. Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Jesus respawning next to new kid is stupid. I agree. Plays you, I, I mean, I agree. Make him respawn next to the nearest card on the field. There you go. We all got the same ideas, man. Fix an issue where card requests would fail. Not fix. You probably didn't get the update yet. <sighs> no change to all the low energy spam. I mean. Cock magic being a little bit more expensive helps that out a bit. <laughs> all I see is gnomes, aliens, space warriors, enforcer, aliens. Yeah. I decided to spend no more cash on this game. Whoa, blah, 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 blah. You don't listen to the community? No, you just don't listen to your opinion. Stop acting like you think that every fucking person in the whole fucking community agrees with you. If you think that, you are a fucking idiot. To possibly think that 100,000 people agree with you? You're fucking crazy, man. Probably more than that total. This is the exact problem. Build a push, DSR, nullify, build a push again, CM, repeat, yep. 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 Must say, you guys are great. You perfectly listen to the community. Fuck yeah. If a security breach happens, you don't censor it, you fix it. So you don't face a bot hacker for months. That's funny. And your response to the community that the game feels as big grind is awesome too. You offer us more events and we have to gather 25% most. I mean, it was only a grind because you had to get to the end to get value. Like I was saying earlier, you don't have to get to the end to get some value. I feel the tender care and loving as a free-to-play player. I will have the sweetest dreams tonight. <laughs> the card request still doesn't work, blah, 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 who cares? The update you made looks good, but when I spawned Witch Garrison in front of my new kid, I had a really hard time to use his charge ability. I don't know what that means. Amazes me how most of the comments on the developer update every week are a bunch of screaming cryberries with nothing productive to add. Fuck yeah, dude. I truly wish you guys would quit the game. Fuck yeah, if you think the developers are so awful. Are, you, are they perfect? No. Could the game use some tweaks here and there? Yes. However, are we playing a free-to-play game with no ads and events every week, which at least shows they're trying? Yes, we are. Rant over. Can't wait for PC Babies to let me have it. That'd be great. PC Babies is a card. What up, LaForce? Poor Kostong clears the board of only enemies and gives you a unit. But you can, you can spend... You can stop some! What are you fucking talking about, dude? You can't stop cock magic. You cannot stop it. The only way to not get value is to just sit on 10 energy. That's not a choice. That's not a fucking choice. You can stop some with plenty of different cards. You can stop some with cock magic. You cannot stop that card. You can't compare them. One has many counters. 
Many cards kill it. Many cards stop the charge. To com come on, man. Come on. Give this man a beer. <laughs> 10 to 15 energy? What game are you playing? You could have wrote billions and billions. Millions of energies. <laughs> Although I never have played this card, I agree with you 100%. You could literally just transform a whole deck. Makes sense to me. I will just put it in my deck. Top 10, here we come. Well, I don't even understand. It was some some sort of satire there, but... You play an assassin and pressure him, and they play cock magic. Well, yeah, but I mean, yeah, you can't say that cock magic isn't strong just because Youth Pastor exists. Because, guess what? When my 10 energy push is on my side of the field, in 30 seconds, that 10 energy push could probably still get fucking cock magic and give you value. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> what do you think about the idea to limit the amount of chat interactions? Since for me, there's no reasonable value from sending over, I don't know, 20 messages during a match. The only thing the prophets is spamming begins the door for it. Yeah, and I don't want to mute the chat. A taller amount is okay when somebody gets emotional, but I think it influences the game in a negative way. Then mute it. If somebody starts spamming, mute it. At the end of the game, unmute it. The next guy might not spam. What? I mean, I could see limiting it. Like, you know, you can only go as fast as you can click it. I could see like, after you click it, it's grayed out for five seconds. I could see that. But then at the end, I wanna say as fast as I can, good game, well played, LOL, fart on him. Like, I wanna do that as fast as I can. Maybe you can't do the same one over and over. You click fart and then it b blacks out fart, but then people will just be good at doing fart switching to switching to to Wendy, doing fart switching laughing, fart switch laugh. I don't know, man. That's a dumb thing to be. That's a dumb thing to care so much about that you wrote as your 99th post on the forums. <laughs> play a couple thick units that can take sound blast, so you don't have to sit on energy. Yeah, you play your tank, hit one shit like. Marcus can get hit by some and still get one t t one towel off towel pillow one pillow off and that's value Marcus getting one pillow is his four value in my opinion but I don't know I think there is Yeah, Satan yeah cuz Satan anything that happens in me any war cry is immediately gonna be stronger than a than a 15 second charge even though, yes, some can get it off multiple times. But how many times in a top level game are you gonna get a Psalm off two times? Unless you're Sataning or you're Santing that bitch, right? It's just very unlikely because somebody's gonna have the card to deal with that. Um, because he's such a good, strong card, people have counters in their deck and they always will. Psalm Santa, you just quit to OP. I mean, you could just play Cock Magic and then it wouldn't bother you at all, right? Cause that's nine energy. So if you see the Santa come out, he drops the sum, play the nine energy. Even if you sit there on 10 energy for four energy, you're technically even energy. And that's a fair card. It's still broken at six. The whole concept between the card is dumb. You shouldn't be able to do it without at least one of your own cards on the field. Force me to play my gnomes, force me to play cock house and use it when I have only one cock there, right? Like. Force me to play intelligently instead of just like, oh shit, he's got a lot of people out there. It's stupid. It's stupid. And Satan too. Satan shouldn't have as big of a range. He shouldn't be able to go in the middle and hit the Dougie that's going on the side and the other side. Like, that's just too much. And he hits on like an extra inch on both sides of his fucking reticle. So if you know that, it's even bigger than it is. I don't know. Technically, even at current value, eating up nine energy, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See some, me with lightning. Oh yeah, it's big brain time. Well, not if he's leveled one higher though, and then he survives, then it gets interesting. Cause when, when Sam's level seven and lightning bolt is level seven, Sam survives. So absolute end game, Sam will be a fucking nightmare in any deck because He'll be hard to deal with. Uh, but that does it for the weekly update. Had a good time this week. Had some some not so interesting games, but we had that one really interesting comeback. Try to at least have one fun one for you each week. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys all being here. 
hour and 47 minutes of South Park chatter. We're gonna do the giveaway after here, uh, after the, the stream here in a little bit. So stick around, SPPD in chat. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you're here live on Twitch every Monday at 7 p.m. We're gonna do two tonight, but going forward, we'll only be able to do, two, do one, and it'll be 350 cash. 3,000 PVP tickets, 2,000 coins, and three epics of your choice. So we're gonna roll to that. Thanks everybody for stopping by. We're gonna get that giveaway rolling, so get some hype in chat. Peace out on YouTube and everybody who can't get the giveaway and is gonna bail right now. Love you guys. Later!